my souls, and welcome back to... Fuck's sake! Also, why is it... Why, why must it be Butthole Potato? Hello, Andy. Hello, Dylan. Hello, Claire. Why must it be Butthole Potato? The burp goes There grim. we go! <laughs> there what go? The camera! It, it can finally see me now. Hello. Why am I orange? God damn it. <laughs> also, hello Aiden. And yes, Aiden, my camera said fuck you. Mlem the Andy face. Claire, I'm assuming you're at work. <laughs> That's one big check. I mean, check it out, everybody. <coughs> Did you give her the checks yet or no? Not yet. I haven't even talked to her. What I should do is talk to her. Upon seeing the frankly humongous chum holding up the remains of an ancient stone tower, I nearly jump out of my skin. Before I collect myself, I hear a voice cooing in my head. Giant chum cocks his head at me and chirps. Is this real? Express my tentative disbelief for the scenario. Well, I'm talking to you as much as I am able to talk. Fairy cheese. That's a that's a phrase. I don't think I want to. To receive my thoughts. But I assure you, I am as real as you are. I hear you are hearing some of my children. <laughs> fairy chess, okay. I swear to God, I read that as fairy cheese. <laughs> and my brain just died. Also, yes, at very least, my camera being able to see me is a good thing. And due to the fact, Aiden, that it makes me look orange, all I can say is... Huh. Well, I mean... Yeah. I'm not orange, it's just the lights. Hello, Johnson. Hello, Delint. Mlem. I can feel the eggs squirming in my satchel at their mention. That's a phrase! That is all of a phrase right there. I relax suddenly, comforted by the absurd, uh, the absurd uh, absurdity of the situation. Your name is old and vast, like the desert. 
Mouth a syllable as it chirps silently. Bow my head politely. It's an honor to meet you, Queen. The queen seems surprised by more forma my formality. Oh my! You are such a proper little human. Well, you mean you really don't want me in need? Perhaps you and I was? The legs are thinner than the middle, and they need to be blended somewhere so Answer comes without hesitation, a big guess. You're a kind little slug, aren't you? I think I'm going to like you, Sama. We're starting things off with the fly rigs. I have them with me already. You've been busy. How many of us will get it already? Excellent work here, Sama. Queen coos at me with her gentle voice resonating in my head. Ah. Oh, how fortunate for you to have taken an interest in us. I find myself smiling at this magnanimous uh, compliment. You are a rare special specimen in this age. <laughs> That's how you do it. This would have made the game so much fucking easier. Oh no, you've gotten me all emotional. <laughs> Lucky for you, the dairy of a drum to be great power. And I suggest you keep that information to yourself. I nod solemnly, sparing her any elaboration on my suggestion. The tear feels like a gift. I feel stronger, more resilient. <laughs> Bring me 15 eggs next. I greet the Trump Queen. The Queen asks me if I have eggs for her. Deliver eggs. Young Sabre, so kind of you to bring it again. You have heard of us being on your way to Lily Columbia. Her imagined voice is like a uh, cool towel on the back of my neck. All the little ones you've brought home are so thrilled to be born to a family now. Feel the power of the queen's tears buzzing within me, even as I hold back my own. I want you twenty eggs from you. Greet the queen chum. Ask me if I have eggs for her. Deliver eggs. I'll come back sooner. The queen wriggles as she greets me silently. You've brought more of my children home. This is a true kindness. I shall be a man off and on the receiving end of such thoughtfulness. Your dedication, the rest is truly a boon. 
Well, my face is covered. I'm sure the queen can feel my immense smile. What a genuine smile you have. Oh, stop. Baby, get me emotional again. This is already hurting my brain. Also, I'm fairly, fairly certain that we have murdered Aiden at this point because I'm fairly certain he has died laughing because of that fucking voice. I am trying to keep from laughing at this point because <laughs> I'm in the stream. <laughs> and just taking all the willpower I have right now to burst out, burst out laughter at this Elmo voice. I mean, it works, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, it does. The queen coos at her brood. They do seem happier here, though. I'm not sure how I can tell. I feel even stronger now with the good. Uh, well, another of queen, the queen's tears. Another twenty, please. Hello again, little slug. Not sure how to feel about the Nakuna Slug, but who am I to question the being who can telepathically, uh, telepathically project their uh, thoughts into my mind? Can't hear me now. I hand over the eggs with a bit of hesitation. No, no, little slug, do not fear. You do me and my band of chums a favor of enormous magnitude. We adore you. That's kind of an adorable idea, Aki. The sound of uh, satisfaction vibrates up through the queen's body, shaking dust and rubble lightly from the tower it holds. And another twenty, if you don't mind. How many do I have left? I don't know. You know what? It doesn't you mean we can't go looking for some more... Eggs. An oh. Easter egg hunt? Did somebody just say Easter uh, Easter egg hunt? <laughs> yes. Okay. So I want to understand something. So, I want people to remember something. I got all of the motherfucking maps before getting the ability to climb like this. Yes, you did. It takes a little while to fucking rest, though. Hey, remember that tall spire with the check on top that you can never get to? Oh. Oh, Aki, you don't know how close you just came to doing the unspeakable. What did he do? He said cheester. Ooh. Boyo, oh, you just damn near did. Uh, you just damn near it evoked the name of an old god. <laughs> One that I'm fairly certain most people on this goddamn platform won't remember unless they are a very, very old subscriber.
Aiden. Behind you, Kit. What? There's a thing behind, on top of that platform. Oh, there is. I yes, I do. You. Aki. Oh. <laughs> I swear to God, Chester is like our own uh, little SCP. I don't know who that is. Oh God, don't invoke his name too often. You might meet him. Are you gonna go for that chest or no? The chest is back there that I already got? You already got that chest? Yeah, it, it's open. What was in it? Uh, I don't remember. I think it was pants. I literally got it at the end of last stream. I wasn't there. I was busy playing D and D. Yeah. No, that's when no, I was actually. I won't, no, that was Wednesday. I was asleep. Good lord, she's big. She is. Makes you wonder how you miss her. God. Okay, so giving the literal... Given the literal nature of the gliding at this point. Hey, hey check it out! <laughs> hey, hey, Aki, do you know what the really heretical thing about all of this is? I'm going to pick up the corgi and head to corgi. Because if the queen of chums lays chegs, does that make her the tween? Aw, snuggles the corgi. I'm on my goddamn- why does this only ever pop up when I'm on my fucking bike? What pop up? Don't lose your bike! Time to go look around on the- Dildo-shaped rocks. That- that was a weird noise that I just heard. So, now that I know I can upgrade this, this has actually opened up so much more possibility in this game. So, I don't know. There might be a lot more to this game than I thought there was initially. And just knowing I can go further now, I want to explore more. I want to explore more. And I have to find all the chegs for the tween. How many chegs do you think there are in total? I don't know.
Hey, Aki. Once again, fairy cheese has become a thing in my brain. I don't know, I might go for the climber's mask now. Because, I mean, just... The challenge of getting higher and higher. And I don't mean with the use of drugs. Although, admittedly, I do that too. Hey, Kit, remember that station you couldn't climb because it was too high up? Wait, which one? Wait. The one that, 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 the one the deep south. The one with all the buildings nearby. You already go to that one? Buildings? The, the structure's all around it. Is it one of the places that you would that I would have gotten a map? I don't. I'm not sure. I'm not good, but I. All I saw was you trying to climb it, and you didn't successfully do it. just brings a whole new feeling to this game. Being able to get around like this. It only took you how many episodes? Oh, shut up. I think that's a good thing. <sighs> I'm saying you did a really good job with this game. With the limited... <laughs> with the limited amount that it teaches you? Yeah. I, th I think I did, too. I meant that honest, as a compliment. I, I know you did. I... Yeah. Snuggles for burp. You're not like Markiplier of the game, Grumps. <laughs> you can be told the thing right to do and then ignore it for half the game. Eh. Claire, how did you choke, and why did you choke? For that matter, how did I choke? Who's choking? Also, who's choking who? Just it keeps going. This feels weird because now I can't decide between fucking okay, uh, because it. This is a concept that both of the masks share. Both of the concepts in this world share, being a. Uh, cartographer, you're meant to map the land, which means you can sit here and just study its beauty for hours or even days. What's the other thing? 
But the challenge of getting up here... The thing is flying, for flying up here just wouldn't feel right. Like, it's the challenge of getting up here that's... I don't know, more satisfying, I guess? So, it makes me think maybe I should go for the climber's mask. What do climbers, what do, climbers do? Climb. That's it? They live for the challenge of reaching a new height. Never, an ever more challenging climb awaits you when you manage to find one goal and just kind of never ends. This will either work or it won't work. Nope, it's not gonna work. Okay. Question. Hmm. Will it chag? Will what chag? I don't know. It just seems like a really weird question to ask somebody. Will it chag? To chag or not to chag? <laughs> <laughs> Poor chag, I knew him well. I mean, these are all chag-excellent questions. Are we taking him on? No, but I'm fairly certain he's had just about enough of our shit at this point. <laughs> Poor Tanuki! Yum. No, I joke about games I like. Eee! Oh my I god, I almost made it! I also joke about games I don't like. You remember the old Castlevania games kit? Yes, I do. Remember Symphony of the Night? Yes, I do. I played that game so freaking much. Symphony of the Night, uh, of the Night was good. My favorite one, though, uh, is one that most people will never remember. What is it? Uh, like, I believe it was Curse of Darkness or some shit like that. You mean the, one of the PS2 ones, right? I believe so. I believe I also played it on Xbox, though. I don't remember. The more we get... It was one of the first 3D ones. Oh, yeah, I remember. Yep. Very specifically, it follows the uh, story of... Uh, fucking, what's his name? Uh, the two main characters, antagonist and protagonist, were both something called... Uh, Demon Forgers, or Demon Smiths, or something like that. Devil Forge Master. Devil Forge Master, there you go. Oh, I remember that one. That one was a lot of fun. It feels like this one's bested me, for now at least. You'll be back with more tech power. Oh god, yeah.
But some, no, leveling up those spirits was really freaking hard, though. Got me here, Simone. Whee! Lost your bike kit? I'm gonna thwap you. <laughs> Tower I was trying to get to the top of, but couldn't. Hey, well, I think it was towards the bottom of, like, go down. It was one of those. Remember the area that was really into, with all the metal scrap, like the big metal buildings. Oh, you mean the one the place I couldn't get to that was it looked like a junkyard? Yes, I got to it. I got to. That's why I mean, you may have gotten to it already, but I think this may make it easier. This would have made it a lot easier. Oh, I know. Oh, I can do a thing. I just remembered I could do a thing. And this may have actually been the thing you were talking about, Burb. What's up, Aki? Hey guys, this is the height I just climbed in one go. Hey Kit, hmm. I thought I just on that rock on the rock right across from you. Is there a keg on top of that? Probably no, behind other way. Probably, but I know there's a keg at the very top of this structure too. So my idea is get to the very top of this structure. And then look around and mark all the places that have possible checks. <clears throat> I think it's a excellent little idea. What do you think? I agree. E. Ooh. Snack. Aiden, why have you started with the chegg uh, the cheggishness? <laughs> That's a phrase. The chegging, part two. More chegging. Nah, it's cheggingism. Isn't that the religion of chegging? No. Oh god! Chegg 2, the cheekle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Hacky. I did not mean for that to be a thing. But apparently that is a thing now.
I swear I saw one of them that looked like it was gonna have a Chegg on it. I saw a Chegg. Where? Keep go no, no, not that way. Keep going and I'll tell you to stop. That's Turn. kinda hard because remember you're lagging behind me. Just go slowly then. That's what I'm doing. you crane down a little bit from this direction like it was the one I saw earlier there it is I'm using the hang time to check out the location. Ooh. Hold on. There's a chest over there. There is. Won't let Alex chat. Wait, hold on. Hold on ever so slightly, guys. So how's everybody doing today? Good at keeping people's attention, but mm -hmm. 
Eep, I've been poked by Aki. I will poke you back. Pokety poke poke. Poke the belly. Is the Aki hungry, by the way? And I'm back. Sort of. Because I will make him something if he's hungry. And yes, poke the belly. Aren't you the one that said earlier, if you need me, poke my belly? my question, by the way. You would like, would you like food, Aki? Snack your snack. What you want to snack on? I can't. I won't cook you food on a maybe. I need a yes or a no. Whee. I'm gonna go try to shove myself into its nose. Hey, nice. Well, thanks, man. God, dry mouth is a thing. Excuse me. I mean, plus, I honestly hey, think kid, that there? if I were... Oh, I'm sorry! I've been muted this whole time to the burb. <laughs> I was wondering, it's like, why the hell is the game playing and he's not saying a thing? But no, uh, realistically... If I were to shave myself entirely bald, I would look like a fucking thumb. Where did that come from? Uh, I had mentioned initially that uh, I would shave my facial hair if we got to, I think it was 1,500, uh, 1,500 subscribers by Christmas. Uh, that was last year. It didn't happened so it didn't happen and this year I was going to say the threat of if we don't get to 1500 before Christmas this year I'm going to shave off my eyebrows from Christmas onward to the end of the year and force you guys to watch my happy ass without eyebrows <laughs> or even weirder just awkwardly and very lavishly fucking penciled on eyebrows Oh, shit. Just, come on. Just, you guys come on one of these days, my eyebrows are just, wee. <laughs> I, I did a little bit of research. The game we were talking about. Guess where it is in the timeline. What? That Castlevania game we were talking about. Guess where it is in the timeline. 
Uh, don't know if it's going off of the anime that was released for the uh, series. It would ha it would happen along the same timeline as uh, Dracula's wife being killed and Alucard's pursuit of him. So literally everything happens all at the same time. This game play this game takes place in the 1400s, the one you're talking about. Hmm. So, that game is before that, actually. Either way, I haven't played Castlevania in a very long time. Oh, I'm I love Castlevania. That's why I know this type of stuff. Yeah, no, I I used to be a massive fan. I actually got back into it a little bit because of uh, the anime on Netflix. Uh, I really want to be able to go. I really, really want to go back and be able to play as fucking. What is his name? Hector. Hector the Devil Forge Master. You know what I game you be... really like, though? Huh. You'd love Bloodstained for Duel of the Night. Oh, probably, yeah. And I actually was planning at some point to do the Bloodstained series uh, on here because it is so much like the initial Castlevania games. It's made by the guy who... It's made by Iga, so it kind of has the guy who knew made them. Yeah. I'd also like to, like to see you play Psychonauts one day, but that doesn't have to be in the <laughs> nearby <Johnson>. future. <laughs> Actually, one of the things I kind of plan to do is... I'm going to try to limit the amount of new games that I play to a certain amount next year. Next year, from day one onward, uh, 2023 is going to be all about trying to get into my backlogs and play some of the games that I've wanted to play for a long time now but haven't. And there are actually quite a few of them. There's some. I have some really interesting games that nobody ever seems to want to see me play. So. Do, do you have any names on that list that you're willing to say or no? Uh, I believe it's called Hellblade. There's also Greedfall. Um, Fee, which blew my mind because it was a musically inclined... It's a game about a musically inclined creature trying to travel through a... or trying to traverse a forest that is being cursed by some kind of malevolent being. What game Literally, what the game entire way they communicate is through sound, through music. What game is that? Fee. Fee? Fee. It is literally called Fee. It was kind of like an Ori in the Blind Forest sort of game. Never heard of that game. Oh my god. Has it been that long? So, hold on. Has it been that long since I've done an Ori game? Yeah, apparently, yes. No, I've never heard of that game called Feet. I don't even know how to spell it. F E. It is literally a game all about sound. 
It's an Ori in the, it's kind of like a free roam version of Ori in the Blind Forest centered around sound. It's a kind of, uh, what's the word? I'd say it's a game with a rather niche audience. Uh, but it's also, it's an interesting concept. Uh, it's a game along the similar, or along a similar vein to, like, uh, I think it was called Tale of Four Seasons or something like that, or Tale of Seasons. Or the first tree. Oh, that's actually another one that I've wanted to play for a while is the first tree, and it seemed like nobody wanted me to play it, or no one wanted to see me play it. The first tree. Yeah. Like, any time I put games like this up on vote, they inevitably get fucking overshadowed, or at the time, they inevitably got overshadowed by something like fucking... Uh... Actually, a lot of the time it was by, like, a shooter. Because I remember Fee got fucking Trump way back when... ...on a vote for, uh... ...what's put on the channel by, like... ...one of them was a Rainbow Six game, not Siege, but... ...uh, I think it was Vegas? I'm gonna look that up, Kit, for you. See which one it was. Whoa! Wait! That's a person! What's a person? Rohana's mask. This place. I hate this place. Why don't you leave? I don't leave because I hate it. I have to suffer. I have to overcome my fears. Don't judge me. It's awful watching things in the mess. Nothing good, that's for sure. I can't see the vote where the, where the vote is, Kit. Sorry, it's not showing up. Oh no, it was. It, this was back during the Twitch days, dude. God, that was like but 2016, I, 2017. But yeah, right now I can tell you right now I would not. I would have not voted for a shooter game over something like Fee. Yeah, but oh, those are the kind of do those are kind of what I want to do. Are things like uh, Fee or uh, Hellblade, that, the, or that? Funny enough, the Fee and that one tree game both involve you playing as a fox. Yeah. <clears throat> I want to do more games like that, but at the same time, I want to. I want to get back through some of the games that I wanted to play, but never did. Or wanted to stream, but never did. So, kind of the things that got put off to the wayside because people just flat out didn't vote for them. Do you have your next game planned already, or no? No, but I'm starting to put together an idea of what they're going to be. I'm fairly certain we're going to be playing this probably right up until Aki's birthday stream, though. So, after that, it'll be... I don't know, one of two or three games. When is Aki's birthday stream? I believe that was September, what, 2nd or 3rd?
Third, okay. Lem. So. So that's a Saturday. Oh, wait, is the third a Saturday? Yeah, September 3rd is a Saturday. Oh, cool! Whoa! I have apparently made the game try to shit itself. Ooh. <laughs> Aki, I am God. I don't think you're meant to be up here, Kit. There's a reason I didn't ask for a birthday stream, Kit, because it was on a Saturday. And I didn't think you did Saturday birthday streams. Oh, occasionally I do. Um, but yeah, no, very specifically, I do streams for people's birthday occasionally. Uh, it's typically on request if I don't usually have, uh, anything to do on that day or what have you. If I'm up to it, I'll give a freaking, I'll give them a freaking birthday stream. It, I, I literally stream because I like hanging out with people on here. I know that I sounds weird because I go fucking quiet a lot, but... I was gonna ask for one too, so that's the sad part. Yeah. Well... I mean, there's always next year. It was my 30th birthday, so it's like, really? <laughs> What's I've with those seen... blue, Bowie? I, I don't know, but I'm starting to wonder. Also, I don't see the, uh, the reason why people put emphasis on things like that. It was my 30th birthday. No, I, I took the entire... I took three days off for it, so it's like, yeah. Like, I should have asked you. I shouldn't... Like, oh, yeah. This meeting... Like, I know, I know, like, I threw it because, like, I last the year before that, I didn't take any, I didn't take my birthday off at, from work at all. People are like, it's your 30th birthday, you need to do something for it. It's like, okay. Oh, by the way, Kit, I came up with an idea for the one of the best flavors of ice cream. Maple, bourbon, and pecan. Yeah. What's up? How does that sound, Kit? What? Wait, what did you say? Maple, bourbon, pecan ice cream. Maple, bourbon, pecan, ice cream. That feels like an overload. It sounds like it would be good, but it, it it feels like an overload. How would it sound like an overload? Maple, bourbon, pecan. All of these things are going to have to be melted with a cream to make an ice cream. That is four very distinctly different flavors all vying for the same fucking... Uh, essentially amount of tongue. Like, if it were something like maple bourbon, I uh, maple bourbon ice cream? Or maple bourbon ice cream. There we go! Brain! English! I can do words! I'm... I'm not completely dense. I mean, to each their own. But I, I'll agree, it sounds like it would be good, but to me it feels like it would be something that... Too many flavors trying to fight for the attention of one individual. I apparently do that voodoo that you do! Actually, 
Larry said came up with a good idea. Maple vanilla ice cream with bourbon caramel and chunks of pecan. Oh wait, is it all uh, wait, is it all one thing or is it all or is it like I oh, could I'm I could understand like maple bourbon ice cream with chunks of pecan over it. Or like it mixed in. It's like it wasn't like all three flavors like injected in. It's like you add like those three flavors into like an ice cream, but in different ways. Oh, okay. No, I'm not saying like you add like. I was thinking like maybe like you add like make like a bourbon ice cream with like candied pecans. Yeah. Candied in maple. I mean, that would be a way of doing it. And. I that mean, works. again, K Bar to each their own. Uh, personally, I like ice cream. Uh, I don't eat too terribly much of it, for obvious reasons, but. I am personally a fan. Graham Crapper. Uh, Graham Crappers! There we go! That was a word I just said! <laughs> Sorry, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> okay. Graham crackers dipped in Sprite. Very, very much makes me think of something I used to do as a kid, which was take ice cream, or not ice cream, uh, applesauce and Sprite. Uh, have the Sprite as a drink, but take the applesauce and essentially soak graham crackers in, in it and just let them soak up the moisture and eat it kind of like this weird-ass apple cobbler. You know what I did as a kid once, Kit? Mm. Very I specifically, and... the uh, cinnamon graham crackers because it came out tasting a little bit like a weird... Homemade, a weird apple pie kind of flavor. I I actually dipped Oreos in barbecue sauce once. I mean, I've eaten apple pie with a slab of cheddar cheese on it. There are some wickedly fucked up combinations out there that everybody would assume are gross as hell, but some are actually pretty good. It's apples and cheese; they go well together. I know, right? The thing is, people don't think of cheese and think sweet. But then again, there are people like me who go, Hey, I like blueberries in this. Well, what are we talking about? Asiago, what the fuck are you thinking? It's cheese. Cheese actually goes well with berries. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, but you haven't watched Food Network most of your life. You probably don't know these things. I oh, mean, my... hell, I didn't even watch Food Network as a kid. I just learned these things because I fucking experimented. No, I have a fortune Peanut butter and cheese? So me... Not my favorite thing. Cheese and fucking uh, applesauce? Maybe. Cheese and apple pie. Oh, God. No, like, my poor sense of smell, like, I have a poor sense of taste that goes along with it. I'm aware. It's almost like fucking 70 to 80 percent of the sensation of taste is smell and vice versa. For some reason, my body can pick up bitter very well, though. Yeah. Ooh, fresh made mozzarella. Ooh, also, hey, Claire, good news. It might not actually be uh, lactose intolerance. I may have had a bug. Does the bug have a name? Uh, it's got a clinical name, but for uh, ease of explanation, let's just call it the Shitting Death, which is its typical joke name. I'm going to call it Jeffrey. Why do we want to call the norovirus Jeffrey? Because 
because it's just the main because it's like it just sounds funny when you say like I had Jeffrey. Like what's Jeffrey? I'm sorry, no pun intended, but I don't want to stain the name. I don't want to stain a name like that with that kind of imagery. No. Only reason I could do that is because named by my uncle and we don't like him. By we, I mean like me and my mom both don't like him. <laughs> it's nothing against people named Jeffrey, it's just that it's just <laughs> the first thing that popped in my head. Ah, uh, that's right. I mean, goat cheese is actually pretty good. Well, correction, if made right, it, it's pretty good. It's really good on pizza. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, like, on its own, it, it's kind of, eh. I'll agree there, but, like, in lasagna? Oh my god. Swap out the, uh, swap out the ricotta and lasagna for, uh, goat cheese. Goat cheese reminds me of somebody from high school. If you tell me you were a furry god. in high school, my brain is immediately gonna go, this is not an appropriate conversation. <laughs> No, no, the kid, no, somebody I went to high school with, guy had some lac lactose intolerance, could eat goat cheese, though. Weird. It wasn't full lactose intolerance, it was partial. Ah. Uh, yeah, um... Hey, K-Bar. I guarantee you I have a couple different food uh, combinations that I like that you would probably think is remarkably disgusting. What would you pair with blueberries, Kit? Oh god, so many things. Because recently I've been on a blueberry kick. Well, I mean... There's always the idea of the blueberry Havarti quiche. That does sound really good, actually. It is. Uh, you can also go for... Well, actually, blueberries pair well with pretty much any kind of cheese. Hacky, you know the bite. Numb face. What's up, man? Blair berries go pair well with venison. This question appeared in my head just a while back. Do they do what pair well with venison? Blueberries. Oh! Not really. Venison, weirdly enough, pairs better with citrus? Or with, uh, heavy herbal tastes. I know duck pearls pair as well with some citrus as well as some stone fruits. Oh, yeah. Even though I've never made duck in my life, I know what it pairs well with. Well, I mean, of course, you're a bird. You know what you uh, you know what you go well with. I go. I would be paired with the fire extinguisher. I mean, quite possibly. Are you making bread or bread? Probably bread. Well, speaking of 
dinner tonight. I had chicken enchiladas. I want to do it. I want to do the thing. Do what thing? I want to do that thing. Let me climb your thigh. How were enchiladas hockey. ruined for you by your grandmother's cooking? Is she that bad of a cook? Did your grandmother make that bad of fucking enchiladas? Question, Kit. Is Peking Duck hard to make? Uh, kind of? I think it's more like time intensive. My god, there's a Chegg up here! Aw. I mean, this is one of those reasons why I have the personal philosophy of I will try anything once. Like, I will try any food once. And if somebody tries to convince me, yo, you're really gonna like this food. I will give them the benefit of the doubt and I will give it a try. It's only one food I will never eat. What's that? Something that consists of mostly raw sugar. Like, here, eat that, that's raw sugar. I know, but eat it anyway. Like, no. Just no. Like, there are some things that are not worth like that. And then there are foods that are just made so poorly, just like you wonder why the hell they made it. Like the case of, we made jambalaya without rice. you call that jambalaya? We made a pizza without cheese. It was thinner than the gumbo. So Hot jambalaya, could... so thin you can put it through a sieve. You could have actually. <sighs> I know that's the that's kind of the disgusting part about that idea too. And the bread pudding was so soupy, you could have put it through a sieve, and you would have gotten <laughs> just chunks of bread. <coughs> like, it's like chunks of bread and horchata. Me and the other. No. <laughs> you. It was like, even then, it was so under-seasoned. Apparently, the look of horror on my face when I fucking mentioned, uh... <laughs> or rather, when you mentioned the fucking jambalaya without, uh, rice. 
Apparently that was priceless. No. You know why they made your block that rice in it was? Mm. Because gluten free. It's like, I'm sorry. You make gumbo. They have gumbo. We're going to make something that's one of the main ingredients involves gluten. Gluten free! Okay. So what do you call this if there's no gluten in it? Gluten free jambalaya? No, because it's not jambalaya. I tried telling him that, but what we, we, we made rice on the side. It's like, that's not the point of jump. Like, me and the other Houstonian there were like, he was also going to call, going to culinary. It's like, we were so disgusted by what they made, we could not, we just walked away from the entire meal. It's like, what might, understand. Like, understand. Trying to say that is akin to trying to tell a fucking, uh. Trying to tell somebody that, yes, you order the chicken bolognese, and that's what you got. It doesn't matter if it's an Alfredo. Or pasta bolognese. It doesn't matter if we use Alfredo sauce, it's still a bolognese. No, it's just a no tomato oh, bolognese. Keep in mind, though. These are people from Illinois trying to tell people from Texas, this is how you do Mardi Gras. Like, I'm sorry, we've been to Mardi Gras. We know Mardi Gras. You did? Like, you don't even know what they say. Like, I'm sorry, you don't know Mardi Gras because... The number of ways I want to slap somebody just for that phrase you just said. What? They tried to say they tried to tell you that you didn't know what the fuck Mardi Gras was. No, I'm probably no. no. I'm saying they didn't know what Mardi Gras. They didn't know what Mardi Gras was because like everything oh. they did was so wrong. Keep in mind though, like for my high school, like my senior, like I took a AP level junior and senior class about gothic and sci-fi horror. I taught that entire class. Everything about Mardi Gras for an Edgar Allan Poe story. Like, 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 how much do you know about Mardi Gras? It's like, can I get on top of the titty? Please tell me I can get on top of the titty. I can get on top of the titty. Why is this titty pointed? <coughs> I am on top of the pointed nipple. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna go take my meds. Aki, I wouldn't think that's why it's pointed! Although it would explain a lot. Thanks, I hate it, Brain! All I can think of is Peppy the Pew going, Oh, I make you so horny. <laughs> God damn it. There's a thing over here. Okay, the same people it's like, you can buy Betsy Mel at the grocery store, can't you? Mm, pretty sure you can't do that. If you want good Betsy Mel, you don't buy it at the grocery store. Right? Understand, I'm trying to focus on what you just said hurt my soul. 
What the fuck did you just ask me? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can't buy that smell at the grocery store. No, you fucking can't! Why is that even a question? I just had- why did I have to fall through someone's ass for that question? I was asked that question. Chegg! With a straight face, by the way. A bechamel is not something that you can fucking buy! You can buy the ingredients. It's very simple. It is so simple, in fact, that no company would ever take the time to make and can it. Like, you know so much about cooking. Where do I buy bechamel? It's like, you don't. Like, really? No, you, you don't. Did you at least tell them how to make it? I tried to. They weren't listening at that point. Okay. See, this is why, this is why I used to have, and I kind of want to go back to having, the mentality of you can't suffer fools. These are the same people who thought they could take out later on that said that they could... They were to make Greek food. Oh, God. The <laughs> like, oh, God. I don't want... I want no part of you butchering the Greek people's food. Please so, I have to ask, it. what did they think that it meant to make Greek food? Just to add Greek yogurt to something? Oh, they knew the ingredients, but that's about it. Oh, God. I, I'm sorry, I knew somebody that literally said, You can make anything Greek, all you gotta do is add Greek yogurt to it. So, like, they knew the names, but that was it. Like, congratulations, that's step one out of 50. Keep in mind, though, they love allrecipes.com. Oh. Okay, so understand, I love allrecipes.com too. I also very much understand it is a site full of Karens. That's why I can never go to that site, because 90% of the recipes were just made by like, here's a Karen thinking they know what they're doing. They don't. They just don't. I feel a suggestion entering my mind. When the swords cross, stand face to face. Holdering trousers. I'm gonna climb your eyeball, okay? Thank you. But it was just like, we need to be inclusive by just ruining every single thing that made this food good. The swords cross, sand face to face. Oh. Are you going to hear another food crime fit? Or no? Ooh. Yes, please. 
You know those ready-made mashed potatoes you put in the microwave? That's like those Bob Evans ones, the prepackaged ones. Okay, run that by me one more time. Those ones you can just get to get those like those ones you can get in the prepackaged ones you put in the microwave for like two minutes and you have mashed potatoes. Yeah. I had room. I had people who wanted to do that for separate time rather than making their own mashed potatoes. Okay. How bad is that? Weird, but not bad, I guess. I volunteered to stay up the night before to make mashed potatoes, and they were like, oh, you don't have to. Like, there's a reason I'm volunteering, because you're going to cook those mashed potatoes and cook them again. Those things are already tough. It wasn't, it was disgusting. It was just nasty. Yeah. When somebody is volunteering to do the work for you, why not take it? Well, oh, mashed potatoes aren't that hard to make. Like, at all. Sunset die! <clears throat> My dog is barking outside. Now, barking in the living room. Oh well. And no, that's not Gamer Doggo, that sounds like Luna. Do you agree with me on that statement, kid, that mashed potatoes are easy to make? Oh god, yeah. It all depends on what tools you have, though. Like, for example, I wouldn't want to have to try to make fucking mashed potatoes without a ricer. How much is a ricer anyway? Huh? Is a ricer relatively cheap to get? No. They're... Yes and no. Small ones, fairly cheap. Good ones, none. Nah, you're going to be paying quite a bit for them. Like, how much? Uh, I think cheapest one I found was about 200 For a racer? Yes. A very large capacity racer, essentially. But for home use, you don't need to be that big. No, but you don't know how I cook. <laughs> I don't typically cook for just myself. I cook for a household. Doing a large thing of mashed potatoes for a household with a small ricer. Not fucking easy. In fact, a lot of the stuff I have in my kitchen is fucking industrial grade. Like, all of my fucking cast irons are industrial cast irons. Like, they are industry standard tools. My fucking chef's knives? Every single one of them from a high-end brand. I have about $2,000 worth of knives that took me about two decades to acquire. Amazon has the commercial ricer for 40 bucks. Damn. A Norpro. Never heard of that brand. Are talking about uh, oh, they also have one that like, they also have one like right next to it that's $160. See. But oh, this is a food mill. 
food mill. Like it's it's like the whole thing, it's the whole contraption with like a spinning wheel on top on it. Oh, yeah, kind of. The thing I am talking about is a piece of metal that is put onto a bowl. It has a big conical thing that goes up off the edges of the bowl. Has a contraption in it that when you spin the contraption inside it, it presses anything soft down into the grate beneath. That's what it looks like. That's the one. The one on set, the one that's forty bucks is just something you put into thing and you squeeze. No, no, that's a normal. That's 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 not an industrial grade riser. That's a home riser. Those are good for if you're doing like one or two potatoes. I'm talking about when I make mashed potatoes for like a family gathering. I'm doing twenty, thirty, and forty potatoes at a time. We remember, I have a very big family. I know. So yeah, no, uh, to be able to cook to the same degree that I typically do, uh, yeah, it, industrial appliances needed. I, let's put it this way: my fucking stand mixer is like five hundred bucks. It took me two years to be able to pay for it. Too. I'd love to see your kitchen. It's not as impressive as it sounds. Oh, believe me, I'm not. I. I... I mean, I am one of those people that has a fucking uh, kitchen grade fucking Metro uh, just sitting what? in their kitchen. What's that? Metro. It's a wire rack designed for holding pots, pans. It's designed to be able to be... Uh, it's designed to allow you to organize things along the sides of it using S-hooks. It's the oh, big, those things. It, it's the big wire shelves you'll see in a in, in like an industrial kitchen. Got up top of that mushroom cap. Let's see if I can get up top of this mushroom cap. Oh, woo! I cannot make that sound, sadly. Why is that? Burps do not to make that sound. Burps go chirp. I mean, the burb equivalent would probably be a scree. And since there are people sleeping downstairs, I don't want to scree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Aki, the tiny woo is just adorable. How do you do the tiny cat on there anyway? I want to know. People have been trying to figure that out for a long time, too. You will tell us the secret, Aki. One day. <laughs> I will never blink! Also, snuggles for the vault! Nom, nom, nom. One of these days, I gotta get you to download the, uh, essentially the app for, uh, Xbox, Volk. Uh, we'll see it at some point about getting you set up with an account so we can pop you on, so, uh, on some of these streams, man. Hmm. Or, I might be able to help, or I might be able to get people onto stream a little easier uh, in the coming months because apparently 
apparently, uh, Discord is going to be uh, integrated into the Xbox systems. Which means, technically, I could integrate a system that would allow me to party up with people that are on Discord. I want to figure out how to do that tiny chat. It's annoying me. The what? The, the tiny woo. It's annoying me. Mm. I must know the secret. There you are. Hello, Simon. Why does the moon look pink? I have no clue. I swear to God, if I find a Chegg after fucking climbing up one of these, Aki is gonna wanna slap me. Why is he gonna slap you for that? No, it, it, he's going to. Just trust me. I don't get it, but... If I find a Chegg after climbing one of these fucking giant-ass hills, he is gonna wanna slap me. It's not like you did anything wrong. I will if I find a Chegg up here. We've been up here before? I don't think so. There is something up here, though. Huh? Whatever that giant thing is. That red thing that was in the dancing. If I... What red thing that was dancing? You were past it. It was just a. Is that a floating rock? Oh, that's a plant. That red plant over there. And yeah, that was a floating rock. Would you like to invite the Claire? Sure, I'll invite her for the last 20 minutes. 15. Mm -hmm. 
Hello, Claire. Hello, Claire. Oh well. How was your day? There. Huh? How was your day? Painful? No. <laughs> Care to share? Lower back. <coughs> what was with the potato post? Oh, look, check. <coughs> Aki, I apologize for this in advance, but. Hell yeah, brother! It's mountain climbing check stream. <laughs> Welcome to the ultimate dad jokes. <laughs> I now saw the scream check over and over again now. Check, 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 check. I mean, if I start finding a lot of them, yeah. Did you get the bad pun I just made? Yeah. <laughs> oh, can I get on top of this? Uh, you need to get on top of this. Sweet grits? That actually sounds really good. Don't like it. I'm more of the savory grits. I mean, that's just you. Personally, I don't like- I don't like, uh, savory grits. Never have. Oh, I love shrimp and grits. I'm neutral to all of this. Hey, Aki, you're the one who's going to have to eat it at the end of the day. Because you can't just make sweet grits and just throw them away. That'd be a sin. And I'm pretty sure Kit would agree with me, right? A little bit. That was a bitch. We could say that I am checking you on. <coughs> so fucking close, dick sucker. Hey, I found a thing, and I found a thingy. I also found a thingy. I found a wiggly thingy. 
It wiggles for me and gives me chegg. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you giggling about? I don't know. It actually doesn't hurt to laugh. That sounds a good thing. My pain's gone away. Hey. Let's go shove my hand into this thing's face really quick. Reach into my face to see your future! Show my mechanist badges to the thing. Let me open my face so I can give you a face. Just come here, sugar. Reach into grandma's face hole and find a candy. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That's the perfect Jewish mother in law voice. Now. This, for some reason, feels weird. Oh, my blue, my head is outfit. Oh, can you hear me now? Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Oh, my headphones disconnected for some reason, then reconnected. Huh. But no, you. It has been a good day for achievements, Kit. There we go. Back to my bug-eyed look. That's very buggy of you. No, if I wanted to be buggy, I would be wearing my buggy. What if you want to be shaggy? How dare you, you chegg.
customize a bike. That's badass. That's a badass effect. Today was a great day for achievements. Apparently, yeah. I was wondering where that echo was coming from. There we go. Now I look weird. Is that slower than your other bike? Yes, it is. Speed is not always the end-all thing. You know that, right? Well, in certain cases, yes. In other cases, no. That's what I just said. It isn't always the end-all. I'm being redundant. Thank you for making my point so brilliantly, though. Numbers. <laughs> Anyways, folks, I'm going to get up top of this, and then this is probably where we're going to need to leave off. Because we are getting to the end of our time today. Yeah, I'm going to try this climb. Burb. Let's try not to die on microphone. What? All I heard was something crash, and then it's your microphone that was picking up. Yeah, uh, that no, I'm not, I wasn't falling. I just, I didn't do anything actually. What crashed? I have no clue. Don't know, there's a loud ass bang from your end. Anyways, folks. At all. Anyways, folks. If you enjoy the gameplay or the commentary, give us a like. If you want to keep up with this or any of our other content, hit subscribe and ring the bell. Ooh, let's get up here and take a look-see really quickly. 
That's pretty. Anyways, folks. Hey, become part of our notification squad so you can see when we upload and when we go live. But for now, this is Kit the Solus and crew signing off. Herb? My mic's acting up, isn't it? It was. Um, no, no, no. Hey, I, I think it's because of this connect and reconnect. My mic was, like, freaking out. Probably. Anyways. Until next time, everybody. Bye-bye. Lem. Also, good night, Johnson. Good night, Volt. Good night, Aki. Stay tuned. Tomorrow night, on Delint. the excellent adventures of Sable. God damn it, Burb. Just Here remember, everybody. Nothing. Just remember, everybody. We do this not for ourselves, but in service to our tween. Ta ta, everybody. Blam. What the fuck?